And it's truly, it's so nice to be here. One of life's great pleasures to be in Melbourne. I love this city, you know, catching the tram, <laughs> releasing it back into the wild. <laughs> to actually, to, to get over here, I had to catch an airplane, which is like a, um, a more elusive tram. <laughs> you know, and the, the thing I don't like about catching an airplane is as soon as you sit down, they say you're not allowed to go on your phone. And, uh, you know, whenever you're not allowed to go on your phone, for me, that's one of the main times I want to go on my phone. And, and, and they know it's hard on the plane, too, because they give you a little screen right in front of your face, and they like, well, you can be in charge of that. <laughs> but it's a great opportunity to catch up on the latest blockbusters. And so on the way to Australia on this trip, I watched uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. <laughs> which is, that's a new release for the plane. And it was a real joy to watch it, you know, as Stanley Kubrick intended, <laughs> with a 20-minute nap before the third act. <laughs> but it's a pretty serious piece of movie making. I was actually having quite a good time. And then I wasn't far into the movie when Australian border security said, hey, we've also made a short film. And I thought, I don't want to see that, but they just stopped playing it. No sense of decorum. <laughs> and the, the film they made, it's like a little horror movie <laughs> about coming to Australia. And in the movie they say, we're so excited you're coming to Australia, so long as you have spent the last two weeks sitting in a sterile room drinking non-dairy yogurt. <laughs> you know, like, you, you haven't been out for a walk in shoes recently, have you? <laughs> And so they, and they, they list all this stuff, and they, they get through the movie, and then it finishes, and you think, great, now I can watch my main movie. But it turns out the stewards are in cahoots <laughs> with border security, because then they start marching down the aisle with a bit of paper, which is like a pop quiz <laughs> for the movie. And they're asking you all the questions to see if you're paying attention. But then they also ask you some trick questions that weren't even in the movie. <laughs> One, the one that I saw that, that really caught my eye was they said, do you have tuberculosis? <laughs> like, have I flown over a dateline to the 19th century? <laughs> do I have tuberculosis? You know, that's crazy. Because for me, tuberculosis is such an old disease. You know, I don't even really know what it is. So I'm sitting there on the plane trying to remember about tuberculosis, but I'm... Um, I'm having kind of a hard time because, uh, you know, I'm running a bit of a fever and I'm feeling quite fatigued. <laughs> and I think, well, that's okay. I'll wait until the plane lands and I'll look it up on my phone. And so, you know, the plane keeps going and then the plane lands. And then the steward, once again, we must remember they are in cahoots. The steward comes on the, the loudspeaker and they say, um, they say, hey, welcome to Australia. Just so you know, it is a federal offence in Australia to check your phone before you've cleared customs. And I think, ah, you know, I really want to go on my phone. But I also, I never want to be in trouble. I do not like to be in trouble. So I think, that's oh, okay, I can do that. So I don't check on my phone. I'm walking through the airport and I'm not on my phone. I'm not on my phone. I'm not on my phone. And then I get all the way to the E gate. And the E stands for electronic, <laughs> uh, you know, as an email uh, or e-cigarette or a uh, He's having a tough time not going on his phone. <laughs> um, and I'm doing the question in here, and it's the same questions again and again. They say, do you have tuberculosis? And I think, I really want to get this right. <laughs> and so I take out my phone, and I go to punch in tuberculosis symptoms when a guy in uniform called Cameron 94342, which is <laughs> a ridiculous surname, <laughs> he says, hey! No phones. And you know, look, to cut a long story short, I, I made it into the country. I've still got my phone. And I'm, I'm coughing up quite a lot of blood. <laughs> That's my first joke. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, thank you.